Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin right now. So Bitcoin is uh, made a pretty decent size green candle yesterday, as you can see. And I just think it's consolidated into a wave to go back up, go back up. That's right, guys. But not much. You know, it's not going to do a moon shot from right there, right? So it's not going to go like right here and then start doing a shot. But um I think it's uh, the plan here for our chart. Consolidating this area once it's finished over the next couple of days. I'm looking at the uh, 30,500, 400, 500 right in that area. Okay. It's probably going to take that out. I'm back down here, maybe 29.6, even 29.5 could be down there. And it's going to just go up like that and tag that. And then go into a correction. Okay. That's what I'm planning on for. For Bitcoin. And then back down. And then going that way. Back down that way. This uh, whole section is uh, ultimately the target that I'm looking for on the daily is 32.669. Okay. 669. Weekly algos. Getting a little bit more positive. Probably a spike at the end in uh, November or something like that, guys. So, and then uh, going into actually January, December, January, end of the year type deal in that area. So, we got these targets up here 36, 40, 46, or 43. 48, uh, 47K was a, was a target I had right here, you know, this area. But it doesn't look likely right now with Bitcoin, guys. Um, but once it gets over the 32 area and then this area right here, a lot of bullishness will come back. And that's probably why there's going to be a spike in that area. So we could, I mean, maybe the whales are going to push it to 46, 47, 48K. And if they do, they're going to dump their bags. I'll tell you that right now because they'll have all the news and media and say, oh, yeah, this is time to buy Bitcoin. And they're going to dump because they're accumulating right now, guys. There's some whales. According to the data that I have, I don't know if it's true or not, is that the whales are accumulating pretty massively right in this area. So the whales are getting ready for another run. Okay. Um, they're getting ready for another run. And I, if you see 47, 48, it's going to be an offload, guys. So offload according to the algos. And uh, my algos are more accurate than people. I don't care what somebody thinks it says it's going to do. Your opinion doesn't matter to the markets. I can say, hey, I think it's going to 60K. I think it's going here. I think it's going there. I'm going to use math. And I'm going to use algos, man. Way, way more accurate than people. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for on Bitcoin. And uh, just take advantage of this whole section right here. And it go into a wave on Bitcoin. And uh, so this section over here, whenever it comes, I'll go back to a weekly chart. On this section, it's going to go into another correction, guys. You know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty much common sense, you know, like this. You got a wave correction. You have a wave, a correction. And uh, the corrections have been, you know, pretty much for at least a month. Okay, a month. That one looks like it could be a little bit longer if it does happen. This one was two months, two months. So once Bitcoin goes into a correction, you can expect one month or two months of sideways action. OK, more than likely that's going to happen, in my opinion. All right, guys, on Bitcoin. So I was going to probably go over some coins, too. Haven't gone over um, in a while. DXY. The stable coins right here, you know, they're, they're stabilizing, you know, back up to 0.999. That's what you want. I want to see them at 0.999. Gravitating back up a little bit. They're not a concern yet. They're not a concern yet. So uh, let's see. Ave Curve has been making a little bit of news. I don't know if you guys know about that situation with Ave and Curve Finance, but um, they're not going to be an issue. The Ave and Curve Finance won't be an issue. If Bitcoin goes up and it rolls over, the cryptocurrency market rolls over, that will be an issue because they have liquidation points, numbers. Okay, so that that definitely would I wouldn't be concerned with it yet, as long as Bitcoin's going up, trending up and to the right. But once it rolls over, definitely that would be uh, something I would uh, 
I, I just, I wouldn't mess with them. The best advice I could give is probably don't want to be hanging around with the Ave coin and the career finance coin for the time being, guys. Okay. We'll go over uh, Cardano here. Let's see what Cardano has going on. It's uh, looking bearish, guys. It's bearish. Okay. So. Here we go. The moon boy count. Right. Everybody wants to watch videos that does moon boy counts, right? So we have a moon boy count on Cardano. It's going to the moon, $10, and you just throw money in and get rich, <laughs> right? So Cardano is hanging out with that trend line, guys. All right. It looks like it might even break down from that trend line. So. Money, a little bit of money is flowing into Cardano, it looks like. So it looks like they have a pretty strong, pretty strong community. You know, it's uh, actually looking better than some other chains as far as a little bit of inflow of money, according to the data that I have. So that's at least that's positive for uh, for Cardano for the time being, guys. But so in this area on Cardano, right? Um Uh, okay, so moon boy count. You want a moon boy count? Um, broke the low. I mean, the best moon boy count that you could get is it's going to do a C wave. So this to me would be the wave, maybe to there. And it came back around over here, broke the low, and they'll tell you this is a uh, Wyckoff thing, and it's going to do a moonshot out of there right now. Um, okay. <laughs> And then you can see this is three wave-ish and it's coming back down. Um, that doesn't look, that's not a good look, guys. That's not a good look. So if you wanted to be like uber bullish over here, you should be expecting a, a, a C way like A, B, and then a massive C to take off. But it doesn't look like it has the strength to do that. The buyers are not, the, the massive buying is not being shown up for Cardano. Okay. So. Would I recommend? Not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. Be careful some of these altcoins and do what the other other uh, majority of the market participants are doing. And they're going into Bitcoin. They're going into Bitcoin, guys. Um, protect. Rule number one, protect your, um, you know, how much money that you have. That's rule number one. You're supposed to protect that and then go for the gains, go for the alpha. And I don't think in, you're going to get that quite yet in Cardano, guys. I mean, that's the uh, that's the reality of it, right? So, you know, um, especially now that it's done this wave right here, guys. Does that look like one, two, three, four, uh, five? I don't think so. That's very three wave-ish. Broke down right on top of that trend. And it's going to play right along there. Looks like for a couple months, right? And it wants to, boom, go break down. Um, so... Cardano doesn't have a good look. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if it comes back down to like these areas again, guys, 15, 16 cents, 13 cents, maybe even back down to uh, 10 cents, 8 cents or something like that. It uh, did it before. Nothing to say it can't do it again, guys. So, um, I mean, I can't recommend, you know, I, like somebody wants me to be straight up with them. I can't recommend this coin. Not for a long, not now. I mean, I'd be lying to you and say, oh, yeah, yeah, guys, come on, man. Get in there, man. You know, we got that moonshot coming. Let's do it, right? I can't recommend that, guys. I mean, let's get let's get real, man. I mean, seriously, you know, got to have a heart-to-heart -heart here, man. Serious, man. Be a real financial advisor right here, right? Not financial advice, by the way. So I just can't recommend that, man. Like, like, like here's, look at the two-day. Here's a 200-period uh, uh, simple moving average, right? That's your telltale sign that this is uh struggle, can't make it back down, struggle, can't make it. It's probably gonna do another one over here, go oh, and boom, and then break down from that trend line, guys. That's all you gotta do right there with Cardano. So very simple. Put on logarithmic, and uh, you know, if you absolutely just gotta be the Cardano type fan or maxi, you know, just don't even do anything and just watch this in this area, guys, right over here. Okay and see what it's going to do. And 
You know, you want to see a bullish wave like that and then pick it up onto a correction like that, guys. Okay. Without breaking the low. It's that simple. Okay. Don't worry about missing that. Just get it on a correction, protect it. You got to stop right there in case it fails. And then you can get into the next uh, run like that, guys. That's what you want to see. Okay. That's what you want to see. It's very, very simple. I just get onto a daily or two day chart or a weekly chart, get that trend line from right over here. Boom, 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 boom. Touch there. It wick through it, pop back up, and now it looks like it might go right along that trend line, guys. You know, what else you want me to say about this? You want me to tell, tell you that this is going to the moon like next week, to next month in December or January or something like that? I mean, come on, man. Let's be real here, guys. This is a reality crypto show. Reality crypto show. It doesn't get any views, man. But guess what? I'm uh, preventing people from losing money. Preserve your capital first. Rule number one with this stuff, guys. All right? Sorry, I went off a little bit on that tangent with Cardano. Um, I know there's a lot of maxis out there will probably watch this video and put the, the hex on me. This guy, you know what he just did? He told some guys not to buy Cardano. Man, we got to go after it. Go after that guy's YouTube channel. I don't get him. I don't make enough noise for that, guys. But, you know, I'll post it on Twitter. You know what I think about that maybe at some point. Um, I'll do that. So let you guys know what's going on. Um, and then check into the data in Cardano too. Another suggestion, go look, go to DeFi Llama, go check into Cardano, what's activity going on chain. It's got a little bit more positive. I'll give Cardano some credit. It's got a little bit more positive things going on uh, with it. Uh, I think DeFi is coming into Cardano maybe a little bit, but things like that. Go check into it and look at that guys right now. So um, I just, I cannot like, I mean, realistically, being straight up with you right now, I cannot recommend this coin for any type of accumulation or doing anything with it. The risk to reward is just not there, okay? If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.